Hey, anyone realize that the last, like, past three movie reviews have had animals in the title? Yo, yo, Smooth here. I'm at a new location. Um, this might be where I'll be doing the rest of my videos. I don't know. Um, I might go back to the desk every once in a while. I really don't know. Um, it's just cozy over here. I'm on my bed, and I got me a poster wall. So, yeah. Uh, I got the Muppets. I got the Congratulations lyrics booklet. I sort of like that album. Got it Helps You on Digest from Deer Hunter. The new Waves album, and the poster that came with the pre-order of Vodzak from the Animal Collectors movie, Vodzak. So, uh, I'll get into the review here. It is Catfish. Uh, it's, I really want to talk about this movie, but I feel like it's hard to get too in-depth in it uh, without giving too much away. Um, basically, it's this... Uh, brother who is a filmmaker of this one brother who is a, a photographer for theater like ballets and dance and he posts a a picture in a magazine and he receives in the mail a painting of that photo and it's a really good painting and the artist turns out to be an eight-year-old girl and he becomes pen pals with this eight-year-old girl and the uh, they, he sends photos back and forth, gets paintings back, paintings of other photos. And then uh, the brother, the, the filmmaker rather, gets the idea to make a documentary of him stepping his foot into the life of this family, uh, getting involved, becoming pen pals. Um, uh, and eventually it escalates to him becoming in an, a long distance Facebook relationship with his, with the oldest daughter in the family. So, according to the documentary crew, becoming pen pals with someone who is sending you paintings warrants a, uh, is a, that's, um, that's enough to make, uh, to have, uh, there's enough grounds to make a documentary about. Um, turns out, of course, uh, this family is nothing like he expected, uh, um, and, and the thing, this movie bothers me, it really does, well, this has been hitting a lot of people's honorable mentions, uh, a few, uh, top of the year lists, but this movie really bothered me, and I'll tell you why, first off, the movie kind of throws it in your face, as if this is a, uh, more of a, a movie about, uh, about being careful on Facebook rather than um, just a, an exploitation movie about uh, about weird people, which what it is. It has you know it has this opening title sequence, which is this pixelated mush, makes you look like you're looking at a TV, looking at a computer screen way too close. You see all the pixels up close, and it does that throughout the entire movie. And the the point of the movie, the reason why it's called Catfish. I know on the poster it says, don't tell anyone what it is. Um, it's not much. Um, catfish. Basically, this family is not anything like they expected. He actually gets him, he actually believes in this family. And when he meets the family, you know, it's not what he expected. Which I won't run. I will, I will give a little clue, but I won't run. But hold on with me a second. Um, turns out at the end, of the movie, the father of the family gives this monologue, which is supposed to be really deep, dude. Like, this is, like, really cool stuff. Like, like he says, oh, the catfish. Uh, you gotta keep catfish when you're, sh when you're shipping, uh, when you're, like, you're, uh, you're, like, you're carrying fish to one place to another. You gotta have a catfish in there to, like, bite off the crap with the other fish, you know? Like, eat the food, off, uh, like, eat the bacteria of the other fish. And thank God for the catfish. Uh, or we want no, no, uh, thank, thank, pretty much thank God for the people who remind us that we're normal. Pretty much. Um, and basically, that's sad. When you meet this family, it's nothing too surprising, really. It's, it's nothing bizarre. It's nothing weird or 
or anything that you've never seen before in real life, really. You've seen, go into a grocery store and you'll see this, you'll see, you'll see this family occasionally walking around and you're like, oh, that's, um, not my family. But I mean, it's sad. This is sad people. And it turns out just, just these sad people going through like this really crazy, not crazy, but weird, Midlife crisis, and you can understand this kind of stuff happen, happens often, and that gives me the idea that they knew what they were getting into before they decided to make a film about it. Documentaries don't spontaneously happen like this anymore. I don't have faith in that kind of thing. Um, basically, they knew what they were getting into. They uh, they hammed it up for a bit until they actually found out what the family was about, and then and then they confront the family about. Why did you lie about who you were on Facebook? And, I mean, but the movie's not about Facebook. It's not about keeping on your toes. It's, it's, uh, it's, they actually believed. I mean, like, like, they, they play it out like they, they fell for it, you know? And, um, trying to give a more an example, uh, thank God for the people that remind us that we're normal, which is what I got from the film. This dude who fell for the whole thing, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what, the world, the word normal is a very gray term for me. Look at me, I got all these weird posters, I got, I'm hugging like a giant alligator pillow, I got a neon clock, I don't know, I'm a nerd on the internet, am I normal? Ah, you can, you can, leave it in the comments if you want to, but, um, please don't, um, but yeah, what's normal? And this is a... I'm sorry, I'm probably going to get a lot of hate comments for this, but this guy's kind of fruity. He really is. This guy's kind of fruity. He uh, he has like the, the weird like slick back, sort of like the... the he put uh, like a minimal bit of hair gel in his hair before he, after he wakes up. Uh, he fell for this weirdo family. Now, uh, in the eyes of the movie, anyway. And, um, which is... I mean, it is... It is sad and weird to watch, but it's painful because it's real and it's sad. I mean, and he has an angel wing tramp stamp. And he's a ballet photographer with an angel wing tramp stamp going, Oh, woohoo! Well, they're like, I don't know. I think this movie's kind of crass, kind of, kind of trying to, you know. But I feel like some do a documentary should raise more questions than try to answer questions for you. That's what I feel. I feel like a documentary should show you show you the ambiguity and beauty of something and show you what really goes on, but ask more questions than that. Um, and the only question that got raised to me was, what is normal anyway? And they seem to answer that themselves. We're normal. We we handle this situation like mature people, and we're normal. But you're not. You planned this whole documentary out. You're not normal. You have an angel wing stamp stamp. I don't know. So anyway, I'm smooth. I want to hear what you think about this documentary. A lot of people liked it. I might just be talking out of my butt. But anyway, just 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 comment. Tell me what you want to see. Um, I know Dark Passenger. You want to see the Squid and the Whale review. I'm gonna get on that. Don't worry. And uh, people want to see me talk about the social network, which I didn't, I'm sorry, it didn't make my head explode like everyone else. So, yeah, um, also, this, uh, the song that I used for this video, I think I might use it as like a normal theme song. So, if you guys agree with that, just tell me. So, alright, Smooth, signing out. See you later.